All right, today we're doing another uh, top five list. This time we're doing a, a list from my five favorite, and not necessarily in any particular order, but my five favorite uh, boxing movies of all time. Um, I don't actually keep up with boxing like in real life. Uh, I don't really watch the sport actively or anything. Um, I also don't know like every single rule there is to it or anything like that. But I do enjoy a good boxing movie. There's something about there's something about that classic, you know, struggle for a man to be able to overcome a stronger enemy. That it's they always make they always make for good underdog stories. So uh, I don't know. There's just something about a good boxing movie that just draws me in and keeps me there. So without further ado, I want to basically run down my uh, picks for my favorite boxing movies that I've seen. Let's go ahead and start it off. First up is Rocky IV. Now all the Rocky movies are great examples of boxing movies, but I decided I would always include one movie for the bo from the Rocky franchise, since it is pretty much the most largest percentage of you know boxing movies, like franchise-wise. But Rocky IV stands out the most among them, simply because it's a true like it's a true like environment a embodiment of the American like you know will to fight and you know and, and win. Uh, it's it's a very much an underdog story. It it's also uh, has some of the more dramatic moments in the series, being as the, it's the movie where you know Apollo died and Rocky has more of a personal vendetta against the, his opponent than he normally does in the movies. So it just makes for more of a uh, gripping story and a more personal story. Plus, you know, it's a uh, Dolph London's first, you know, bout, one of his first bouts as a, as an actor, and he's just he's really menacing. He's really terrifying, you know, and he just does a great, you know, performance as this cold, you know, bastard of a character. And it's just overall, it's just a really solid movie. Next up, we have The Fighter, which is a pretty good boxing movie starring uh, Christian Bale and Mark Wahlberg. Um, it's a, it's it's got something the other movies in this list doesn't really have, and that it, it has more of a family like uh, theme to it, as it's you know it's about two brothers that you know one's that one's his coach you know helping them or uh, helping them among the fights from the outside of the ring or from in the ring, and the other one is actually the fighter himself, and it's a, it's a really interesting story because it's you know the older brother Christian Bell had his chance to be a fighter but he blew it because he. You know, he got, he got a, he, he's a ha addict, he has a lot of skeletons in his closet, and he's trying to train his brother, who's a young and up-and-coming fighter, you know, to be able to take the, the, the you know, belt. And it's very, it's a very, just, it's a very interesting story about their slow descent, you know, like, they start off as really strong, a really strong brotherly bond, and it starts to break, of course, the, through the course of the movie, especially with Christian Bell's character just always falling back into his old addict ways, and, hit, and you know, being the kind of it's it's a, it's just an interesting character study, and Christian Bell does a great job. His they both do a great job, but Christian Bell kind of stands out a little bit more in my opinion, as just this kind of like former shell of a of a better man who's trying to be better, but he keeps falling under the cracks. And it's just a really it's just a good story. Um, it's not quite as like as memorable as some of the other uh, movies on this list, but I still feel feel it deserves a, a, a number on this list. Next up, we have Rage and Bull, which is a really like interesting movie because this is a boxing movie, but it, it actually the boxing takes a, a back seat to the uh, you know to the sto to the family developments and the personal the developments of the main character. It was played by Robert De Niro. This movie, this movie also has kind of a brotherly uh, has a brotherly re relationship too, as 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 the brother of. of Robert Nero's character is played by uh, his name escapes me right this second, but his brother is uh, is also is also his coach and his uh, cut man. So it's also a similar relationship to the uh, the movie we just mentioned below, The Fighter. But this time it's a more of a it's it's more of a period piece. It's set you know it's set in a different time in an older you know generation. There's a lot of um, the main character Jake uh, Armando has to deal a lot with you know, these personal demons he has, his aggression, his alcoholism, his his abuse to his uh, wife, 
his um his 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 insecurities and inadequacies. It's just a lot of um all those things, all those little things affect him on on the boxing ring and affect how he becomes how he's trying to be a contender. It's just a very emotion. At times, it's very emotional. At times, it's very raw. It just has there's a very a lot of varying degrees of emo of emotions that pop up in this movie. And 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 plus the black and white really I think really helps this movie because it, it gives it a dark it gives it a more darker tone and more uh, grounded tone and the and the boxing itself is some of the best boxing I've seen in a boxing movie like well I don't you know and I'm not like a hardcore boxing fan so I don't know if they're using the right technique and everything but it just looks the most rawest it looks really intense when he's when he's punching and the blood's shooting out and it's just it's just a great movie it's a great classic movie you should check it out. Next up, we have Grudge Match, which is more of a boxing comedy and a boxing commentary on the boxing movie genre in general. Uh, it's very, it's a very fun movie. It, it's starring Robert De Niro and uh, Sylvester Stallone. And the funny thing is, they're kind of basically playing unofficial versions of their characters from Rocky and uh, Rage and Bull. So it, it's kind of like a fan. It's almost fanfare, honestly. It's like what would happen if the Rage and Bull character and the Rocky character were to fight each other like you know 50 years or 30 years later whenever they're older and retired it's very it's a very interesting movie um it's got some funny moments in it. it's got some good character development you know robert nero's character is kind of a douche at the beginning but he slowly starts to become become a better man by the end he gets to know his son who's played by john bretho more and more and it's just a lot of it's a more light-hearted boxing movie than anything else on this list but it's still a solid movie and especially if you're a fan of Raging Bull, if you're a fan of um, of Rocky movies, even though these are not the same characters per se, they still have a lot of the same spirit, and it feels like a spiritual possessor to those movies. Last, but certainly not least on my list, is Southpaw. And this is also probably the newest movie on my list. And it's the most current in my memory, but it's a really good, solid movie. Uh, this is basically, this is the probably the most raw I've seen in a boxing movie, the most, like, vicious you know movie i've seen in the boxing genre it uh it's really it really kind of digs deep into your uh into your heart and just claws it out um and this is also probably the most personal of a boxing movie too because for the character least you know because the story follows you know that we uh you know jake joan hall's character as he's this boxing champion at the beginning he's basically at the height of his career which is also kind of different because most boxing movies the, the 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 character starts off at the lowest part of their career, and then they build their they build themselves up to the, to to when they get to champion. In this movie, he's basically at the highest point of his career at the beginning. Like he's really popular, he's really famous. He's got a lot of wins under his belt. He's got the perfect wife and a you know, great kid and a great house. But all that starts to get taken away from him whenever his um you know spoiler alert if you haven't seen this movie. But all that kind of gets taken away from him after his uh wife is uh, accidentally killed during a fight that breaks out between him and his uh his his big his next rivals um entourages and so his wife is murdered and it is this causes a downward spiral for him to lose his the custody of his kid he loses his house he loses all his money he loses his reputation and he has to build all that back up by starting from the bottom again when he's actually when he's when he's gotten older and he's not as in perfect condition as he used to be it's a very it's a very very much a you know, a tale about what happens when you hit rock bottom and how you can come back up. And for that, I, I really appreciate it. Um, the boxing itself is pretty solid. I wouldn't say it's the I wouldn't say it's like the most you know engaging boxing I've seen in the movie, but it's still really solid. Uh, the music store is really good. Like they play a lot of uh, it's got a lot of current kind of like hip hop music. And I normally don't like that genre and music all that much. But the songs they pick work good for this movie. It also has a lot of Eminem on the soundtrack, which you know Eminem's always fine. He's, you know, good music to play. Um, overall, it just all it all kind of comes together to make this really raw, intense movie that Jake Gyllenhaal does a great performance as, and I really appreciate it. So there you have it. Those are my five favorite boxing movies of all time. As always, check out my you know other videos, subscribe and like if you want to comment or, or comment. <laughs> And also check out my Patreon page. You know, Sawyer 189 is, is listed right here on the picture. As a, uh, so thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all you do to help, you know, keep my channel afloat. And 
See you guys later.